What's up, everybody? Joe with Joe's Gold Garage. I got a new one for you today. Before I round the corner, I just want to say this is probably one of the most luxurious, well crafted, as far as textures and materials and touch points of any car I've ever been in. Lexus, BMW. I mean, this thing rivals that uh, 2021 Lexus LX570 our good friends had for 1,800 miles. This car is awesome. Now, the looks can be a little polarizing. Uh, I like its um, uh, cookie cutter twin uh, with a different name. And when you guys see this, you'll know which one I'm talking about. I like the look of those better. You don't see as many of these, but I'm telling you, when you see the inside, man, is it nice. Let's walk over here. Let's check it out. I am talking about the Hyundai Palisade, y'all. And this isn't just, <laughs> this isn't just a Palisade. This is a Palisade Calligraphy Edition, I believe is what they call it. And I have never in my life seen a car with so many options. <laughs> I mean, it is so nice. Now, like I said, you know, the looks, you know, this looks kind of Mitsubishi Outlander, you know, their new look. Um, you know, don't know about the grill per se. I mean, that is a big ass Hyundai symbol. But, I mean, this thing is so nice. It's got power, everything. I mean, you know, tailgate, all of it. But y'all look at this interior. It's got the, you know, touch to comfort access. Look at this, y'all. Put my drink in here. Ooh, it is cold in Georgia today. Ooh, man, we got us a little cold snap. But look at these materials. Perforated and stitched leather. That feels wonderful. Grain, here. Wood grain that looks like it came off, you know, the back of a Chris Craft boat. I mean, we've got, oh, geez, what do we got? We got a kick ass stereo. I can't remember what they call the upgraded stereo in these. Let's see if it says on the speaker. Oh, Harman Carden. Duh. Right there. Look at that speaker grill. Of course, we've got all our safety nannies. Lane keep assist, blind spot. Parking brake. Not sure what I think about the push button transmission. This is my cousin's car that lives around the corner from me. She's the one that had the black uh, Acura MDX that I've done a few uh, drives on. I think it was like 2017 or 2018. She sold it during the height of COVID in the car market, you know, craze, surge, you know what I mean? And she got, she basically got all her money back and it had over 60,000 miles on it. Captain's chairs with the perforated leather. The perforated leather goes all the way to the third row. It's got the little blinds that you pull up, but look at this. It's got an Alcantara headliner that just feels, I mean, it just all just feels so good. Quality, quality. Let's see how many miles she's got on this one. 12,890. The story on this one goes, I believe it's a 2021. Let's see, March, yeah, March 2021. I mean, look at this. Got all kinds of nice little compartments, two cup holders in the drawers. 
you have heated and ventilated captain's chairs back here. Ventilated. That's nuts. Um, adults can actually fit back there in the third row. It's a little snug, but it's better than a lot of vehicles I've checked out. Nice little um, visor there, or uh, sunscreen. Let's crank it up. Push button start. Got a completely, you know, whoops, sorry, complete digital display there. The only thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have an electric tilting steering column, which is a little disappointing. Got your climate control, drive modes, camera modes. Let's put it in reverse. Great camera. I mean, great camera. Let's take her for a spin. I need to put on some, some seat beltage. Oh, she doesn't have a lot of fuel. 40 miles to empty. Heads up display. Can you guys see it against the garage door? There it is. Um, the uh, one thing I noticed that it doesn't have is it doesn't have like a panel. Yeah, it does have a panoramic sunroof. What? I didn't think it did. It sure does. Look at that. Man. Rear. Oh, okay. There's from. Okay. So, yeah, we got the panorama roof with the front one open. And uh, the rear one is more just like a, you know, Vista roof, just glass, fixed glass. But this doesn't have uh, like rear seat entertainment. I'd say that's about the only option she's missing on this thing. <laughs> Look at all the seatbelt warnings. <laughs> I mean, and it is so freaking smooth, man. What are the drive modes? Oh, okay. Comfort, sport. Eco, smart, okay. A little bit of a light show there. We'll go to sport while we're doing our little drive. That little heads up display is pretty good for me, not for you guys, but it's right in a good position of your line of sight. There went the stupid, um, I mean, this is a beautiful screen. I mean, it is like, it's like it's wet radio. Do we have a radio knob? And I'm going to tell you something. Is. My digestive system used to make me feel sluggish, but those days are over. Now I feel great. That's because I increased yep. my fiber intake. Yep, I increased my fiber intake too. Feeling terrific. Good sounding stereo. So the nav would pull up. At least show us a map. There it is, map. You had to press the button. So we got a nice wide screen. It's not terribly tall. I'd say it's probably six inches tall, maybe, maybe five. But um, it's nice. It's got good, I mean, it's good quality stuff here.
That's my cup rattling around. We got a lot of room down here for knickknacks and all your glasses and cups and about three quarter throttle. Holy cow, 73. <laughs> Dang, I didn't realize how fast we were going. Darn. And as you change lanes, see how it gives you a camera down the side of the car? Right? Pretty cool. I mean, it's got some technology. So, she sold her Acura, found this at a Ford dealership right up the road, the next county over. And when she bought it, it had a thousand miles on it. Um, the dealership sold the car to her for $51,000, I believe. Which, I mean, in 2021, that was a hell of a deal. I mean, the, the sister ship to this thing is the Kia Telluride. And, you know, those things are selling for, they're still selling for at least five grand over sticker in some markets. I mean, I realize some people are not paying that where they live, but in some markets, and the Atlanta market's probably one of them because around here, that is a super popular vehicle. And I'm starting to see a few more Palisades, just a few. Um, like I said, they don't have the exterior styling I think that the Kia Telluride really does have. But that is so freaking cool, that camera. <laughs> but this thing has just great technology luxurious i mean <laughs> you see suvs with heated captain seats in the second row but ventilated seats as well are you kidding me oh baby she got the power she got muscle okay i want to get her back over comfort mode there we go. Or eco, since we're about out of fuel. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got y'all right in the sun. Yeah, this thing feels like it would just run away with you. 100, 120, however fast you want to go. This, this thing feels way quicker than the Acura did. Just such a neat. Beautiful interior. I mean, it is so comfortable. Anyway, tell me what y'all think. 2021 Hyundai Palisade. Tell me what you think about the Palisade in general. Um, I think it's been a pretty reliable car. I don't think she's had any issues or anything like that other than just oil change. Just, which was probably been maybe two, maybe three. Um, but yeah, nice rig. Really like it. Loaded with a lot of features. And I mean, for if you can get one of these for 50 grand, I don't know if she just got lucky uh, or, or what. I don't know if you can buy one for that now with this much equipment. I'm not real sure, but hey, that sounds like a big value. A um, lot of luxury for the dollar. So tell me what y'all think. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you with the next one. Peace. Almost forgot. We got to look under the hood. Man, what the heck? What are we running here? 3.8? Three point eight? I think it is. I 
think that's what they use in these. Looks like there's a lot of room for uh, more engine if you want. A lot of room. Holy cow. That's some room for to do some turbocharging and a V8 maybe. <laughs> anyway. Good looking, Rod. Good looking, Rod.